Well, there are some uh, major kinds of discontinuities, one called an infinite discontinuity, where there's a vertical asymptote, another called a jump discontinuity, where uh, you can see that approaching a certain x value from the left may not equal that same f of x approaching from the right. Then there's one that gives every appearance of being continuous at a particular x value, except that it isn't actually at that particular x value. Um, there's a hole in the graph that's called a point discontinuity, also known as a removable discontinuity. Now we can look at Cauchy's rules for continuity uh, because as you can see there's a certain organized way which we can actually determine by looking at an equation whether a function is continuous. So a function at f of x is continuous at x equals a if, first of all, the limit as x approaches a from the left is about equal to the limit as x approaches a from the right. Technically, if you were serious about limits, they should be exactly equal to the limit as x approaches a from the right. But we're using estimation in this course, so we're just going to estimate a value very close to a and also, if you plug in x equals a, f of a actually generates a value, so f of a exists. And thirdly, the limit, the value you got from the limit, has to be very, very close to f of a. And again, if we were serious about limits, it should be exactly equal to f of a, but once again, we're just using estimation in this course. So the infinite discontinuity is the case we're going to look at first. Um, infinite discontinuities is where there's a vertical asymptote. And as you can see here, a jump discontinuity is simply where at a particular x value, f of x approaching from the right is one value, but approaching from the left is another value. And finally, a point discontinuity where it's the same value on both sides, but lo and behold, there is no f of x defined at x. So let's discuss the continuity of this quadratic, x squared minus 4x plus 3 over x minus 2 at x equals 2, and even identify which discontinuity this is. So let's take the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. Now obviously, if we're having uh, x uh, minus 2 on the bottom, at x equals 2, bottom is obviously going to go to 0. But what happens when we put a number close to 2? And again, this is close but to the left of 2. So we're going to put in 1.999 as our x value, uh, both on the top and the bottom, and see what we get. Well, it, it turns out it's a number of that's about equal to a thousand and so it's on its way to positive infinity and we also find that we approach two from the right maybe using 2.001 that we're approaching negative infinity it's actually going to negative a thousand so it's going toward negative infinity and uh, so now they uh, as you can see here clearly the two sides could not be more unequal um, so as we can see, the case one is shown in this um, set of limits. So an infinite discontinuity exists uh, because, as we just demonstrated, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x is not equal to the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. Also, f of minus 2 is really just the polynomial divided by 0 when clearly that's undefined. Now, jump discontinuities are most common in piecewise functions, which we're going to have to discuss later. But for now, we're going to move on to point discontinuities, and they can be seen in rational functions all the time. So consider, for example, the same polynomial, except we're going to now divide it by x minus 1. So we're going to just change it a little bit is this continuous at x minus 1? And if, if not, what kind of discontinuity is it? 
So let's talk about the continuity problems both to the left and to the right of uh, x equals 1. So first of all we're going to use a number to the right which is going to be 1.001. We get a number very close to 2 and when we uh, try the limit as x approaches from the left of 2 using say 0.999 as our value we get 2.001 also very close to 2 and so we can see clearly here the limit exists. The limit as x approaches through 1 from the left of f of x is approximately equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x. So we see that we verified what part 1 of Cauchy's proof for continuity and it appears as though everything's going very well, looks like it's continuous but as you know, this is ill-fated because the minute that we that x is equal to 1, this is going to go badly. So uh, just to illustrate, we first of all demonstrated that uh, the limit from the right and to the left of 1 are both about equal and so we move on to the second part of Cauchy. We plug in uh, f of 1, this is, I got that written as f of minus 1, but it should be f of plus 1, makes the bottom 0 and is thus undefined. So the limit is defined at x equals 1. So f of 1 is uh, basically not defined. The limit is defined, but f of 1 is not defined. So we have really what is a point discontinuity at x equals 1 for f of x. And here we can gain a little insight if we factor the numerator. So the numerator factors to x minus 1 times x minus 3, and notice the x minus 1s both cancel. And so we conclude that the remaining part of that function is x minus 3. Well, that's just a linear function, and we know that that's continuous everywhere. So f of plus 1 is called a removable discontinuity, simply because we were able to take it out by simple factoring.